Hi friends, I'm in my motorhome and uh, it's a warm and windy day. We are north of Kingman, Arizona, visiting some friends. Go outside and show you our little camp. And of course, as soon as I decided to go outside, not only is it windy, but They started their generator over there. This is our little camp. That's uh, chloride over there, chloride, Arizona, and we're gonna go for a ride this afternoon. The Jeep, the Monaco, got another van dweller around behind over there. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. My friend Mike is planting moringa trees. This stuff is uh, very good to eat, full of vitamins and minerals. Actually, as I'm chewing this, if I had to close my eyes, This pointed at me, I'm the star. Okay. <laughs> it's going. Okay, should I follow you or? Town, but the carrots are okay. Yeah, you can have a carrot. Come on. I've never seen him do that, bite the end off. That's because you never held on to it. That's true, I, I'm not that brave. You're not that brave? I had a pony when I was a kid. He was a mean little sucker. He, uh, he was a Shetland pony. And when he decided he was gonna go back to the bar, he just run. I could drop one rein, pull on the other one, until he couldn't see where he was going. He'd stop, and then he'd bite me on the knee. <laughs> oh, great! But the only thing I worry, I don't know how. I mean, he is tame enough to pet, but he is a wild horse. So. Yeah. yeah. This is a wild Mustang. Apparently there is a herd of them over there across on the other side of the mountains and he's decided to be uh, friendly and social with humans instead of hanging with his drip herd. <laughs> so um, he's not owned by anybody, he just roams and that's why he comes over here for a carrot. You going to share? Good. I'm gonna let you have those. Okay? Okay. Are they all following us? I they are. Okay, we feed the horse carrots. What are we gonna feed the cow? Hey. Cows eat carrots? They're the most of them. Yeah, there's a couple of them that just love getting carrots. I must have left it. There is one, and I haven't seen her. No, oh, we lost our menagerie. Yeah. Did you decide to come? Huh? Did, did you decide to come? You're slobbering a little. You and your black-tipped horns. 
Okay. Adios. Oh, come on. I'm going to get a picture of when she gores me in the back. <laughs> <laughs> we'll scream uh, just before that happens. <laughs> Jerry, move. <laughs> <laughs> she just wanted to get to that other camp. Walking this morning, we ran into this new fence. Five strands of three-eighths inch steel cable. Used telephone poles. This is a serious fence. We're thinking we're Jurassic Park. We're kind of worried about there being velociraptors on the other side of that fence. Maybe the guy's planning on having a buffalo herd. One more time. Oh, you can't roller skate in a buffalo herd. You can't roller skate in a buffalo herd. You can't roller skate in a buffalo herd. But you can be happy if you mind too. All you gotta do is put your mind to it. Knuckle down, buckle down, do it, do it, do it. What are you doing? Oh, it's fingernail polish time. Yeah. Time for a new color. What color are you going to do? Oh, I have such a limited supply here. Oh, yeah, you have such a limited supply, but as opposed to the 400 you have. Well, no, I got a shoebox. Somewhere shoe box. else in the world. I got a shoebox full of them back under the sink there. I'm not surprised. No problem getting dog content around here. We have a couple of resident hounds. Hi, Maggie. Hi, Maggie. What you doing today? Gonna be a dog, huh? We've been walking every morning. I decided to collect broken glass it's not just broken glass it's really really old broken glass it's all really really smooth from having washed down the washes the rains so some of this stuff is undoubtedly from the 1800s uh, just something to look for while we're walking found a bed spring Old rusty bed spring. I have a cousin who collects old rusty stuff. I'm gonna save that for her. Found a cow horn. They're hollow. A couple of aluminum rods. I don't know why I pick them up just because you're walking, you gotta do something. And a piece of uh, some kind of mineral I'll identify that later but right now I'm gonna go in here and work on a video for you guys speaking of working on a video we have something strange going on here uh, there are um, one two three four rigs here and um, they're all hooking up to something that says they are their location is in <laughs> Mexico. I don't know what's going on. I've been having a lot of trouble with my um, all of my emails and everything. I keep get it. It keeps getting saying suspicious activity and shutting me out of them. Uh, if this video is not posted on Friday, that'll be the reason because I'm having a heck of a time getting into my stuff every time I. Uh, go to account recovery and change my password, it negates all the other seven or eight things that need the same password again. And one one lady has uh, an iPad, iPhone, and another Verizon phone, and they're all telling her she's in Ahihik. And another uh, couple, they each have an iPad and they each have a phone. That's four more things to say they're in Ahihik, Mexico their location. We haven't figured this out. <laughs> um, everything I got says I'm in Ahihik and it won't relocate. I, it's And why 
do their things say they're an ahihik? And we think that's what the suspicious activity in all of my accounts is, that all of their things are somehow hooking into me. But anyway, we'll figure it out. But if my video is late this week, that'll be the reason. Can't get into my YouTube account. I love him. Come on, do something. <laughs> I want to see him run. He's a road runner. Runner. Road runner. Yeah. That's not much of a run, but it'll have to count. Hello? You have a pet horse? Oh. Huh? The carrots are in the car. She can open it. The, we only give him three carrots a day. He already had his three carrots early this morning. Sorry, baby. He's a carrot beggar. You got carrots over there? They're in my car, right here in the front seat. Yeah. Don't go so far away. Oh, he just takes spikes. Well, she doesn't let it go. We named him Stang, short for Mustang. We're north of Kingman near the Surbat Mountains. That's a copper mine, Mineral Park copper mine on the left. And on the right, the big pile of tailings is from the Kingman Turquoise Mine. Walking the wash, I found this piece of turquoise. It's not the um, Eureka I'm Rich specimen, but I think it counts. We're taking a drive this morning out towards the Surbat Mountains. Surbat is uh, an Indian word, the Wallapi Indians. It means bighorn sheep. The Surbat Mountains here near Kingman yielded millions of dollars worth of silver, gold, copper, lead, and zinc um, in the mining years after the 1860s up until about World War II. The copper mine was active until just a couple of years ago, and the um, turquoise mine over there, I think, is still being mined.
You know, interesting. It's that color on that side. Yeah. And then you flip it over and it's just... It's, it's kind of a... It's like it got to like that when it's exposed to the air or something. Interesting. Yeah. Hmm. There's a hole right there. It's a mine shaft. So somebody been a digging in there to see what there is to see. Turquoise, silver, copper. Yeah, that's in gold, of course. In gold. Shoot, she doesn't have to grow those cactus. She can just come up here and pick the... Really? You just come over here and... <laughs> the Mexicans eat that stuff and call it nopales. Yeah, don't they grow like a... Uh, like a fruit that grows on top of those. Yes, it's not this kind of cactus. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, they they eat them like a fruit, but they also make jelly out of them. Oh, okay. So it's like a they eat the green. The the, the leaves of this, they cut the leaf off. It's nice to get a fairly new, tender one, and they scrape the spines off with a serrated knife. And then just chop it up it's like a vegetable, you know, polys, and you, you you get that a lot as a vegetable at, you know, little Mexican huh. uh, cafes. I'll have to find a recipe, because it looks like I can get a little of it. You don't need a recipe, you just... Do it. <laughs> just, just cook it like, you know, beans or broccoli or whatever. Okay. And it's not... It's very tasteless, actually, to my taste. Yeah. It doesn't, it's not a strong taste at all. I thought this was kind of interesting. Horse crossing. A horsey and feathers on his tail. There we go. Horsey. Oh my gosh. That's a nice looking horse, isn't it? And she's a pretty one. Hey. Cool. And some more wildlife came to get a drink of water this morning. And they throw some grain out there for it. The birds and the rabbits come and have their breakfast. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. Please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.